My name is Gay Smith. I'm the technical manager for Chrysler Americas, and I want to make a short video on how to properly care for some of the spring flowers that are starting to hit the market now. Uh, of course, we have iris, lilies, and then one of my favorites are daffodils. These daffs are from Canada, and uh, daffodils are a little bit different because of the they give off a very thick sap that the bacteria just thrive on and also the sap is actually poisonous or toxic to freesia or tulips so you really want to separate uh, daffodils completely apart when you process them and it's not difficult what you do is you take the the stems and you want to cut off I'd like to use a pair of shears you want to cut off all of the the callus tissue at the bottom cut at least an inch off or so um, the solution we recommend is our professional Gerbera pills. These pills are slow-release chlorine. They look like this. For daffodils, cut hyacinths as well, and also Gerberas, you want to use one pill for about a half gallon of water. It's our only solution that is the, the dose is a little bit of a moving target. If you overdose, you might get a bit of stem bleaching, so you want to back off a little bit. So, you drop the pill in the... Um, in this, the solution like this, you let it dissolve and then fill up your your container. Um, keep in mind these daffodils are short so sometimes you have to use, I had to look around and find a container that would really fit them perfectly but anytime you use a metal container you always want to put either a plastic or a glass liner in it. So in this case I'm going to use this as a glass container. You let the pill dissolve, you fill up the container you give all the stems a fresh cut. Like I said, cut off at least an inch. And then drop your daffodils in the container, in the vase or the bucket. Let the uh, let them sit and start to firm up for at least at least an hour uh, or longer. The stems will get completely filled. You want to make sure that they're upright because they'll straighten in any position that they're in. Once the sap the sap start, stops flowing, then you can use the daffs. You can mix them with other spring flowers. But keep in mind, don't give them a fresh cut. If you need to cut them to resize them a bit to fit your design, you need to let the sap stop stop flowing. That's a tongue tire. Um, so. Every time you cut the daffs, put them in fresh chlorinated solution. The professional Gerber pills from Chrysal work great. Uh, the Gerber pills keep the solution clean and flowing for up to three days. After three days, the chlorine is no longer active. You need to start fresh, new cut, new water, new pill, and go from there. Thank you.